I think another major use case is I've kind of become fascinated with the idea of disrupting the traditional resume. I think it's completely antiquated in 2020. I don't think it's indicative of what someone like the knowledge and the skills that someone possesses. And I think it also the same time you can just lie. I mean, you can just lie on a resume, put whatever the hell you want on there. But what if you're able to test through that on on a variety of different things? Show me your trivia score. Yeah. Show me your trivia trivia score score on a, this topic, this topic, this topic for whatever you're you going to be applying. Like I think for. about like applications for oil and gas, like just like that that instance you brought up there. What is training in the oil and gas industry where most people just kind of go through it, pencil whip it, but it's extremely important information that's critical when you need it, and then in that situation you're probably going to forget it. Well control is a huge mm-hmm. topic in oil and gas, right? So a lot of people go through it, they pistol whip it, they don't pistol pencil whip it. They don't truly understand how to control. Yeah. How to control a well. And guess what? When a well's blowing out on you and shit's Mm. about to kill everyone and burn the well down and the rig down, you need to remember it. And so reinforcing with a program like Trivi kind of ingrains it in your mind to where it becomes second nature to where you do have a well control issue. You're able to shut in the well and rely on your training that you had instead of just kind of going through it and, and forgetting it. Like you wouldn't believe the amount of people that I've encountered on locations that have no idea how to control a well and they're, they're BOP well control certified. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's absolutely exactly right. Nice. I mean, we've had, we've had some oil and gas companies use us for work from home best practices. So that not only do they leverage the the quizzing, but they also leverage the discussion boards and then social learning where people would send in, here's what I'm doing to stay sane. Here's what I'm doing to stay effective. And that's huge. Uh, I think a lot of companies are going to use our app for return to work because if you mess that one up, I think you you, you could have some fisticuffs at offices. Where people show up and, <laughs> and one person's wearing a mask and another person didn't and yeah. they go, to go in for the hug and yeah. they get a punch instead. Yeah. <laughs> you could have that. Yeah. So anyway, so th- th- those are some obvious ones. One of my favorite ones though, one of our clients is a um, basically a wine restaurant company. So they do tastings and wine pairings and things like that. And they have several thousand employees and they use Trivi to make their uh, their servers more knowledgeable about the wine. And they went absolutely nuts on the app. That's pretty cool. They went nuts. And you think about the knowledge that you need. It has to be in your brain. They had several thousand employees answer several million questions over six months. Wow. And they were having fun at it. And then the other thing that they did that I thought was really, really unique that really engaged their culture is they would have Trivi Tuesdays mm-hmm. where they basically did different types of trivia games that where they did prizing like Super Bowl trivia or Valentine's Day trivia or baseball trivia, or whatever. And it was just a fun way to engage employees and they would have leader, you know, we have leaderboards and all that type of stuff. And it's, you could have different groups competing against each other. And it really fosters that community and uh, the teamwork. Yeah, yeah. That, that's awesome. That was going to be my next question is if you got any kind of like gamification, but I think you answered yeah, that. Yeah, we have like badging also. Yeah. You know, we've got all sorts of that type of thing. And some people actually, you know, some of our customers have done prizing. You know, if you want engagement, gamification's one way to do it. Give away free you know, stuff. <laughs> it almost, yeah, exactly. Free stuff always drives engagement. But to me, it's back to that prioritization for the critical communication stuff. I, I still think that level, you ought to make it mandatory. For some of the other levels, maybe you do some prizing and some, some uh, you know, gamification, or all of them is going to have gamification, but but you you focus a little bit more on recognition and leadership. Hey, look, this person read all of these communications in the company, and they're going to get a trip somewhere. Yeah. 